Addictions UK is a specialist service providing uh, detox um, uh, services and psychotherapy and counselling uh, for people with uh, neurodiverse mental health and pathological dependence. Detox is a process where we use medical support, i.e. drugs, to assist people to safely remove alcohol from their body. Small percentage of time, if you attempt to just suddenly stop drinking, possibility that you could have fits around withdrawal and things. So we use uh, benzodiazepines as a way of mitigating that risk. It also makes the whole process more comfortable for the person involved, um, that the sweating and the shaking is, is nowhere near as bad. Um, and therefore that makes it more likely they're going to achieve their desired goal. The particular way of detoxing that we work with is called community detoxing. It's the lowest level of med medical intervention for those people with alcohol problems who need medical assistance. It's done in the patient's own home and it's done with the aid of a responsible adult uh, simply to help make sure that medication is taken at the right time and generally just to keep an eye on the well-being of the patient. For many people, home detox can work as long as they've got sufficient support within the family and they've got sufficient stable housing for this to be carried out. At this time, about maybe a year ago, I was down and out and it was just getting worse, progressively worse. It was gone from drinking every night to drinking during the day, uh, on an afternoon. It just got to the point of, of no return. I, I just felt like I had to drink all the time until we stumbled upon this place and I did the detox and so now I'm two, just over two months in, I feel like a new man. I've been here five weeks and I started, i done my detox six weeks ago. Well, I've done my detox in my daughter's um, home, which is nice and comfortable and controlled and she could make sure I was all right through the night. There was somebody there straight away, it was somebody new, it was familiar ground and with people who love me and it was just that sense of security to allow me to just give myself over to the programme. It was the last um, thing that I tried and the first thing that worked, to be honest. It was some medication that I had to take during the course of a week. Um, I slowly like reduced my drinking over like a week and then I stopped the drink completely. Simon rang us every day, like specified time he'd ring and every day he rang up to make sure I was doing all right, how I was doing, asking the family if I was all right and how I was coping and, and stuff like that. It was really helpful, really helpful. I feel a lot better for it now. It's the last thing I tried and the first thing that worked. It was, it was really good. But what we're really aiming to do is to say detox is the start of a journey. It's not the end of a journey. You can't get well just with taking some tablets. You do need to do other things. And during that detox process, particularly towards the end of it, we're starting to explore what might be viable uh, ways of staying sober, staying clean uh, for those people. We'll only carry out a detox if somebody has a plan to, to look at their longer term uh, sobriety. It's got to be part of a programme whereby uh, people can look at their own drinking and be committed to try and embrace abstinence well-being. After a week or 10 days of medication, Addictions Northeast immediately offered Julie and Sam a bed to come and stay with us as part of a, a longer term. Happily, they are still with us, they're still working on recovery. And here's an example of good practice where um, uh, remote work was carried out with them through Addictions UK and it's been picked up by Addictions Northeast who are off a long-term uh, therapeutic program with them. For someone like me, who uh, struggles with alcoholism, I, I would say that we recommended it. It worked really well for me and it will if you wanted to work for others. Start now, just go for it. Don't leave it too long. The longer you leave it, the harder it's going to get. I left it way too long. As I say, like, if I'd known 10 years ago it was going to be as easy as why, as easy as it is, um, I'd have done it 10 years ago without a doubt. Just jump in and, and do it. It's the best thing you'll ever do, honestly.